to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning guys and gals How's everybody doing this fine day? I'm doing pretty good. It's November 20th. Yeah. We just got cruising here a few minutes ago. We got 249 miles to go to Moorhead, Minnesota. Yeah, GPS says we should be there about quarter to one. Yeah. I told dispatch I'll be there on two o'clock. So we gave ourselves a little bit of time. So we'll see uh, if we can get unloaded there uh, today and uh, hopefully we can get a reload from there and go home. That would be sweet. That'd be awesome if I could do that. But we'll see how it goes. I'm really trying to work hard at uh, trying to get home, you know. Life, it makes life a little difficult when it's snowing, but uh, hey, at least we uh, tried. Yeah, school, school bus ahead of us here, but hopefully he doesn't need to turn off here on 71. <laughs> he probably will, but having my luck, <laughs> yeah, oh well. It's still light flurries out there, but it's not bad. Not like yesterday. Roads are good today. They put some salt on it, feels like. It's not slippery at all. Yeah. Turn left on US 71. Okay. 1,000 feet. Turn on 71. I guess I would be right here. Uh, let's see. Come on, pick up. You can do it. I wish I knew this yesterday that there was a little bit of a gas station here. But then again, I don't know if there's enough room in there to park. Uh, looks like more just of a gas station. It probably wouldn't have liked it too much if I parked in there. Uh, whatever. Here we are. Yeah. Anyways, let's have ourselves a fantastic day. At least try and do our best to have a fantastic day, right? Alrighty, guys, we've been cruising for a while and the scale is closed up here. Yeah, looks like they are in there. It might be open the other way, but they are closed my way. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. I think I come across here the other day. And I think, if memory serves me right, I think I stayed at this rest area right here. Maybe not, maybe not. Uh, I'm not too sure. No, I don't think it was this one. No, it doesn't look like it was this one. But it was somewhere around this area. I know it was up here on Highway 2. I don't know exactly whereabouts it was, but maybe it was further down the road. It looks like we gotta take this exit up here. Take the entrance to the right on US 59 Manilhan and then turn left to yeah. 0.2 miles. We gotta go to Fargo. If we continue going straight, we will end up in uh, Grand Forks, North Dakota. I don't wanna go there. At least not yet, I gotta deliver my load first. 900 feet, turn left on, US That's 59. Right. Wouldn't mind stopping somewhere and grab me a bite to eat, but it really isn't too much out here, you know? Well, I guess there is a little bit of a truck stop there, but not much. Doesn't really look like they got a uh, restaurant in there. like to eat too much fast food you know it's 
okay, but I don't really like to have it too many times of the week, you know. Uh oh, a couple of cops are rolling that way. I wonder what they're doing. Continue on this road for 20 They're obviously miles. not coming after me. Yeah, 23 miles. We gotta go turn on to 200 highway. Okay. I wonder how far it is up to Thief River Falls. There's a sign saying if we want to go to Thief River Falls, we gotta go this way, but I don't see it. No sign there. It said Detroit Lake. I don't want to go to Detroit Lake. Yeah, finally we got sunshine, the roads have cleared right up, no more snow on the road, no more ice, yeah, that's nice, the lakes are starting to freeze over now it looks like, yep, we got uh, 93 miles to go up to our delivery, depending on if we do a pit stop somewhere or whatever, should be there around 12, 12, 15, I think. That's considering not taking a pit stop somewhere. I have just gotten unloaded here in Moorhead, Minnesota. Yeah. Quarter mile. Take the entrance to the right on I-94 West. Now I'm gonna go to the closest truck step. Well, pretty much the closest anyways. In 800 feet, yeah. take the entrance to the right on I-94 West. Go grab me a bite to eat, probably. Or maybe I'll make me something, I don't know yet. We gotta do something, I'm getting hungry. That's right, I'm getting hungry. Uh-oh, that smoky bear is on the phone. Holding the phone. Is illegal. Yeah, that's right. Oh well. That's the way it is with life sometimes. I'm thinking I'm gonna go over there to the logs. And then we'll uh, be waiting for a reload don't have no reload just yet but supposed to get one soon I hope and that's what my goal would be if I could get me a reload here pretty quick and then uh, go home from here well guys we made it home last night it was a late one we got home around quarter after 11 so we had our full 16 hours that we can use in Canada to get our hours in exactly in not over but exactly in yeah we started at quarter after 7 that morning we got out of the states there about what was it quarter to 8 so we were still within our 14 hours in the states and then I had to deliver my load in Winnipeg and I already got me a preloaded trailer there out of the terminal to bring back to Steinbach so we did that and uh, dropped her in the yard and bobtail home and yeah took a shower and went to bed <laughs> had a good night's sleep and I figured out we gotta close the show off yet I didn't close off the show but uh, yeah, it was good roads all the way yesterday no no issues there yesterday I mean we had nice sunshine so that cleared the road all up nicely so no more slippery I guess but we are gonna have a good weekend I think so uh, with that being said we'll see you again tomorrow so stick around and see what happens <laughs> behind me that day is gonna come